We the brown boys. The brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys. You celebrity a weak weasels. And it's what what a best day to expose you than weak weasel Wednesday. I've been saying this shit the whole time. Y'all want to give the credit to Cat Williams, kudos to him. I'm not in competition with the brother. But I've been saying that there's a go along, get along game from day one. And these niggas go along to get along. They do not talk policy. All of them are on their sites talking about you can be sworn in on Martin Luther King Day by the first black uh, state justice woman, the, the cr criminal court justice woman, Supreme Court justice woman is black. And, and it could be a powerful message on MLK Day that Kamala can be sworn in. Well, guess what? That Supreme Court justice don't even know how to define a goddamn woman and what a woman is. So why would we care about a black Supreme Court justice, so-called woman that can't even define what a woman is. She need more context to tell you what a woman is. She's not a biologist, so she don't know what a woman is. So stop the press. You guys only got identity politics. And when we ask Kamala, where's the policy after two and a half, three weeks? Where's the policy, Kamala? Where's the policy? Oh, I know what we gonna do. We gonna do no tax up. Well, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna know how to do no tax up. Y'all don't get out of here with this bullshit. I told y'all, y'all weak ass celebrities, don't unblock. Invite me to your show. I dare one of you. Invite me to your show. I'll come there with uh, video evidence. I'll come there with, uh, we ain't going to argue. I'm just going to come there with her words, her track record, what she's done, what she didn't do, the lack thereof policy, and we're going to have a healthy policy debate. And I'm going to win because she only got one policy that we know of, and it's Trump policy. So while you guys are going to be telling me my mama black, I'm going to say I don't care about that. While you guys are going to be telling people to unblock me, I'm going to say I don't give a I'm going to say you guys cannot come up with anything that should tell anybody to listen to you other than the fact that you black. And that's a shame. Steve Harvey sound like the average everyday coon that he should. Y'all know what it is out here. It's a different game out here. He did. He there to settle the niggas down. I told y'all Colin Flannery said, do not make the black kids angry. So all they do is pacify you niggas. They send gatekeeping niggas out that's smarter than you, that you think is smarter than you. To keep you calm. It's okay, dog. It's okay. They're already setting up for Kamala Harris to not do shit for you. Giving her the excuse already. You know the game. It's a dirty game out here. You know how it works. They're not going to let. You can't get in the office talking about no black agenda. But you can. Why are we voting for black people then? Let's put a white person in office that can actually talk about a black agenda and actually get it accomplished. It makes no sense. You gonna all These niggas are some foot to mouth crybabies. You know that we can't do it out here. You know that Kamala Harris is a black woman and she can't get it done and with no black agenda. Come on now. You know what's going on out here. What? What the f*** are you talking about, Steve Harvey? You want to get everybody up in arms that we somehow progressing because some black person is there and then turn right around and say, you know, we eyes no ways tied. You know, we can't have a black agenda. So once again, every year, niggas get all excited for trinkets and trophies and symbolism and identity politics. It's just, yay, it's a woman. You sing, dance, shake your ass and then go right back to the same misery that you've been having. It's a shame. It is an absolute shame. But let me get to this video because I think it's going to be a long Wednesday. Sick of the black people on the internet. Sick of the black people on the internet talking about I'm not with her. Okay, so if you're not with her, that means you with Trump. Y'all need to block every last one of their asses on Facebook and on Instagram and social media and stop. Like, that's just, that's just garbage. Yeah. It's just yeah. garbage. Can Everybody we be united got to find, on anything? And, and, yeah. yeah, yeah. Can't be like, can't agree on a damn. No, it ain't no uniting with you niggas. You know why? Because the moment you say some shit like that to me, or say something around me without any 
any reason why you said it? Oh, they saying they not with Kamala, so they must be with Trump. First of all, that's not a factual statement at all. There's people out there that's not with Kamala or Trump, and they're not going to vote because of it. There's some people out there that's going to give a vote to Kennedy. There's some people out there that's going to give a vote to Cornell West. The man that you didn't even mention, the black man. You're a black man and won't even mention a black man, Mr. Man. Maybe the reason why you won't mention a black man is on the ballot because you keep wearing dresses all the time. You might need to come out and tell us something, Mr. Pro-Black. Mr. Pro-Black man that won't even mention that a black man is on the ballot. I wonder why that is, Ricky. We know how your beans get buttered and how y'all guys stay on these TV shows for so long without saying nothing and doing nothing, progressing nothing. You say the stupidest things in the world. How can somebody build with somebody like you if somebody don't agree with you? The first thought in your mind is to go ahead and block them. You're telling your crowd you're making them more ignorant instead of going to challenge the other side's thoughts instead of maybe you can learn something you idiot ricky if you will stop putting on dresses and thongs and walk up upright like a man and take them guy heels off then maybe you can learn something and if you pay attention to this live later on today the then maybe you'll learn something and you'll learn to not tell people what the fuck to think and do and if you are going to say an asinine statement like just block these people then Tell them why. This idiot can make the dumbest comparison in the world. We can't agree on nothing. Some people want uh, chicken. We can't even agree on a bucket of chicken. A f ignorant trope like that. We can't even agree on a bucket of chicken. Who taught you how to talk like this, boy? And some people don't eat chicken. I don't eat chicken. I stopped eating chicken. Was eating too much goddamn chicken. Fried chicken and all. And I don't believe diabetes is hereditary. I believe it's passed down through diet. So I changed mine. You should try it, Ricky. Maybe you won't be so damn brainwashed. Because you think that all black people are the same, then you are absolutely nuts. Because you not like me. And you not like most of us. Some people going to want a chicken. And some people going to want a hot dog. Oh, okay. Ain't that their prerogative if they want a hot dog? Ricky Smiley, y'all, he'll block you if you want a hot dog. <laughs> if you want to, if you don't eat this chicken, boy, and you want a hot dog, you not with the black community. If you don't shake your mother, man, this shit don't make no sense. Garbage. Can Everybody we be united on anything? Yeah. yeah, yeah, can't be, like, can't agree on a damn uh, bucket of chicken. One person want a hot dog I always complain. black folks get on my damn nerves man what you why everybody making all, all these celebrities making all these videos going off on kamala harris and stuff and then the black men kamala harris didn't prosecute you and, and treated you bad in court i got treated bad in court too but i'm with her because a, a vote for her uh, uh, if you sit at home and you don't support her you're you do you hear how dumb this man sound Kamala Harris didn't treat you bad in court. I got treated bad in court, too. And it sounds like you just contradicted yourself, Ricky. Now, if you would have said a statement like, I didn't get, ah, you didn't get treated bad in court. I got treated bad in court. That would make more sense because, you know, but you can't say two. You can't say she didn't treat somebody else bad when there's video evidence to prove to the contrary, Ricky. And you told people to go do their research. And that's what exactly people did, Ricky. And now there's more and more video. There's a there's a dude who did an interview about what Kamala Harris did to him when he was in jail. Tried to get this man 50 years, Ricky. So what the hell is you talking about? How you know everybody black struggle? How do you know everybody black struggle? But I forgot. See, these little puppets, these little plants. And this is why I don't belong to no groups. I know everybody, again, I'm going to say, I've been saying this shit from the word go. I came on the internet saying there's a go along, get along game. I followed that up by saying I don't belong to no groups, no organizations, no nothing. You know why? Because everybody that belongs to a group, they're somehow beholden to the said group. And now it's people that like Ricky Smiley based on the fact that he's a Q dog. Even though what he's saying out of his mouth is stupid as hell and is dumber than a mother trucker, but he got a lot of bros that mess with him because he can jump around, hoop, holler, and dance good. 
and hold his ass out doing them little uh, step clubs when they pull their ass out and shit. That's why I don't want to get online. This is why I do not belong to any groups. This is the exact reason why, because the group will not call him out. The group is going to stick with the group because he belongs to a fraternity. And that's why he's telling y'all to vote for Kamala because she belongs to a sorority. Never mind what she's going to do. We have now mixed in uh, your blackness with the group that you join. You can't be black on your own. You can't just be a black individual that stand on business, help children, don't kill people. You can't do that. They'll stand right next to a known killer. And because he's saying what they want him to say, they'll love him to death. They'll love him more so than a person that say, mm, I don't like Kamala. You, you are definitely supporting Donald Trump. You can vote for who you want to, but don't be trying to encourage other people and sit up there and put bad stuff. Where's that same energy for Donald Trump? Yeah. Well, you know, you know what I'm, I'm, I'm just like, don't and, and vote for not, him. It is what it is. They're not even doing, y'all not even out here doing real research. And look at her record. If you do the research, or whatever, stop believing everything you read and do real research. You can see what a record is. You can see what she have done. I think you can Google what have Kamala Harris done for the black community or things that black that, that black people benefit from a lot. We need a to stand lot. with her. Yes. We need to stand with her. She's Absolutely. great. She will make a great president. If what black journalism, y'all. <laughs> you can look up what Kamala Harris did. What has she done? A lot. <laughs> How many cars you got? A lot. How many feet you got? A lot. How many you fuck? A lot. Like, come on, man. Oh, my God. This man ain't say one damn thing she did. If she did a lot, if she did so much, just give us one thing she did. Because I'm going to give you a few things she did. <laughs> and you ain't going to like it, Ricky, because you asked me to do some research. And then there's a lot. See, they can't do that. They're too emotional. Don't ask that man to expound on that. By that time, they'll be ready to fight you or walk off or get away from you. They can't expound on shit because they don't know shit. All they know is your mama black. All they know is your sister black. All they know is you're not down with the bros. 